Welcome back to the second part of bearing. This part will be discussing the second method of representing bearing. The first method we looked at acute angle bearing or the compass bearing. We shall be looking at the second method which is the three digit bearing. Three digit bearing. Three digit bearing. Now, from the first video, we said that acute angle bearing takes bearing either from the north or from the south. But for three digit bearing, it takes bearing from only the north. Three digit bearing takes its bearing only from the north. So instead of having 0 to 360, which is from the north, you go back to the north at 0 to 360. We have it as 0, 0, 0 to 360 degrees. 0, 0, 0 is same as 0 degrees, but it has to be 3 digits because it is a 3 digit bearing and it takes its bearing only from the north. Only from the north, unlike the acute angle bearing that takes from both the north and south. Now, Let's look at an example of three digit bearing. We're looking at some examples of three digit bearing. We have 216 degrees. Now, 216 degrees, already from what we can see, we have 216. This is three digits already. This bearing is from the north, that is from 0 to 360. Now, take note that from the north, it is 0. From the north, is 0. So from the north, to the east is 90 degrees. From the east to west, another 90 degrees, that makes it 180 degrees. Now if I have 180 from the north to the south, I have 180 already. So what do I have to make up with 180 to complete 216? I have 36. So therefore, I will add up 36 from here. Remember, every quadrant is 90 degrees. Every quadrant is 90 degrees. So if I have 90 here, I have 90 here, and that means here will be what? 36 degrees. So 90 plus 90 plus 36 will give us 216 degrees. So this, the total angle from the north to this point here, to this where this line here, here is, is 216 degrees in total. 260 degrees in total. Total. Another example is 0, 4, 5. Now, 0, 4, 5 is the same thing as 45, but we have to add the 0 there to make it 3 digits. Remember, the name is 3 digits. That means it has to have 3 digits. So, 0, 4, 5, that is 3 digits. So, for 0, 4, 5, remember we start from the north. We have the north, the east, the south, and the west. Now, start from the north and go move 45 degrees. 45 degrees. This is our 40, 0, 4, 5 degrees. That means it's between the word the north east. Then, another example again for three digits bearing is 152 degrees. 152 degrees. Now, 152 degrees. Taking our bearing from the north, we start from the north. We move from north to east. Remember, it's 90 degrees. Then, from east to south, another 90 degrees. That makes it 180 degrees. But I have 152 degrees here. So, of course, an obtuse. So, it's less than 180. Therefore, I will have my angle here. I have 90 already here. Now, what do I need to make up 152 degrees? I have to get that from this part, and that is 62 degrees. So I have 62 degrees here. So 90 degrees here and 62 degrees here. And that makes it 152 all in all. So from the north to this point is called one, that is in total, is 152 degrees bearing. And the last example for this part is 2 80 degrees 280 degrees now if this is a point 
280 degrees. Remember, we have our north, east, south, west. Now, 280 is a three digit bearing. So I'm taking our bearing from the north only. So we move from north to the east, that is 90 degrees. From east to south, under 90 degrees, making 180 degrees. Then from the south, we move to west, under 90 degrees, making 270 degrees. Then I need 10 to make up my 280 degrees. Remember, I have 90, 90, 90, which is 270 already. So I need 10 to make up my 280. So I will get that 10 from this other quadrant, the northwest here, and that will be my 10. So my 10 will be here. So from the north to this point is called the 280 degrees. Now, we can label the point. For the first example, we can call it point A. For example 2, we can call it point B. Example 3, C. And for this first one, D. So from the north to this point, D now is 280 all in all. 280 degrees all in all. All these are examples of three digits bearing. That will be all for now. Stay tuned for the other parts where we'll be discussing how to convert three-digit bearing to acute angle bearing and vice versa.